Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Lifelong Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Molly from Three Pines Leadership, and today, first of all, I'm so glad you're joining me and my friends here, but today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We're not going to have just a one-on-one conversation like we usually do on Thursdays. Today, I want to introduce you to two of my friends who are doing a secret project with me that today we're busting wide open. It's no longer a secret. We're going to share with you everything that we've been planning and something that's coming up very, very soon that I want each and every one of you to come hang out with us. So first off, I want to introduce Chris Baker to you. He, he's been on the podcast before. I've been on his show before. And well, Chris, tell us about what we're doing this Saturday. Well, hey, Molly, thanks for, thanks for inviting us. And what are we doing? Well, Saturday, we will be getting together for approximately six hours of content uh, that is designed to help everybody uncover their uniqueness so they can take their next steps with confidence. So what does that mean exactly? Well, the summit is called Career Clarity. And my my passion is around bridging the gap between our youth and the corporate world, because there is a gap that exists, right? The corporate world expect people to come into it knowing what they want in life, but nobody actually teaches our teenagers how to think, all right? So they go through the until they get to teenagers, they got wild dreams. And I know you talk about wild dreams, right? They got wild dreams. They get to teenagers and we sort of, we quell those wild dreams. We tell them like not to, not to dream big, not to think, you know, think uh, above their station, right? Not just to get a safe job, a safe career, go to college and et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's, it's wrong right now and and you know i'm not i don't want to change the whole education system what we want to do is supplement it and help teach these teenagers how to think so they can choose their next steps right they can choose the career that they want before they go to college or before they go to vocational training or before they get a job whichever comes first because you don't have to go to college but also adults so their parents and their the other adults in their lives hey it's not too late for you to let's use the buzzword of 2020 and pivot and choose the direction you want your life to go. Because I guarantee that a lot of the people listening will be stuck in a rut. They go to work because they have to, not because they want to. Um, They're not pursuing their purpose and their passion because they probably don't know what it is. And they're not living in their strength zones. So that's what we're aiming to do in six hours on Saturday, or at least get the ball rolling anyway. Oh, that's so exciting. So we're going to be hearing from Chris, and we're also going to be hearing from my other friend here, Steve. So tell us about what you're offering and what you're going to be sharing at the summit as well. Absolutely. Molly, thank you for having me on. Uh, excited. Excited for today. Excited for Saturday. Like, like Chris said, six hours of just incredible content for all, for everybody involved. Uh, personally, myself, you know, and Chris nailed it. You know, so many people are walking around in this beautiful planet we have now and we're all just they're just stuck in their own little paths and they're stuck in their own worlds I was I'm sure you were I'm sure Chris was at some time and it wasn't until I was 25 years old when I had an, an, an awful automobile accident that left me paralyzed now from the waist down that I finally realized after that that hey I got to get myself going here I got a decision to make you know do I want to be miserable for the rest of my life or do I want to get on with my life? Do I want to change my positive, you know, my, my mindset into positive thinking? Do I want to get out there and enjoy life and love life every day? And that's what I just, that's what I decided to do. So I was stuck in this rut. So what I'm offering on Saturday, basically, I just want to tell everybody about my life, what I've done with my life, my pre-accident, my pre, my first 25 years of my life. I was very successful. I was an athlete. Uh, I could have been a professional athlete. You know, I was already at 25 years old to start my life and the white picket fence and a dog and a family and all that. And then I woke up one day after a bad accident and I was told I was never going to walk again. I had to do some rethinking there of my life and, and whatnot. So I learned over the last 25 years, I came up with a formula for my success. And it's basically an acronym, the word decide. Right? We got it. There's six things that I've done in my life to either overcome some negative things that happened in my life. My accident, I've lost both my parents. I've lost family members anything at all, but I've also turned some negatives into positives. I am now a Paralympian for the United States of America, proud Paralympian. So in the sport of curling, incredible sport. 
So I also use this, use this action plan, the six step action plan that I am offering on Saturday to, you know, get through the good times and make them better and get through the bad times and make them livable. Everybody is just, it's the power is within us. We don't need to look elsewhere. We are our own hero. We don't need to look as when I was growing up, Larry Bird was my hero. Played for the Boston Celtics. Best you know, player in the history of the league, in my opinion, until this guy, Michael Jordan, came along. But when I woke up from my coma at 25 years old and I was told I was never going to walk again, Larry Bird wasn't going to make me walk. Larry Bird wasn't going to help me get through these things that I have, all the struggles, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, that I, was, that I knew were coming. Larry Bird wasn't going to do that. The only person that was going to do that was me. And I knew I had it inside of me. You've got it inside of you. Chris, your listeners, everybody, we all have it inside of us. It's just we're afraid for some reason to reach down there and let it out and be beautiful and be unique and be different and be powerful. That's what I'm doing on Saturday, sharing my story, sharing my six-step success plan, the action plan, basically get out of our own ways, look at ourselves as heroes, empower ourselves, and go out there and, and, and change the world for yourself. And while we do that, we're going to change the world for everybody else. I, am so I love and that you say that because, well, I'm all about changing the world and that's what I'm talking about at my talk. Oh man. So I am so excited to not only share the stage with these two guys and other incredible speakers, but I'm going to be sharing with you guys about wild ideas, my crazy framework for understanding that you can do anything and those wild and crazy ideas that you come up with. They're totally valid and they're awesome. And I'm going to show you a very simple formula to go from crazy wild idea to actually changing the world. And just like Steve, I'm going to share with you some of the stories of challenges and obstacles and incredible experiences I've had along the way in a way that hopefully will resonate with you guys and hopefully will resonate with the young people in your life as well. Wild ideas are the way that we can embrace the, the feelings of uncomfortableness that we get when we look out in the world and we say, that shouldn't be that way. That person shouldn't talk to that person that way. That system just feels like it's broken. Anytime you feel that upset, that dis-ease, that discomfort with what's happening around you, don't feel defeated, my friends. Because inside of you is the, uh, is the ability to change that. All of these systems and all of these ways that we interact with each other, I'm disappearing here. All the reasons we have and all of that disease, all of those ways we interact with each other were constructed by other people. And they're no different than you are. They just decided that they were going to act on that disease and they were going to create a system that made them feel better. So it's time for us to wake up and create the systems that work best for us. And my friends, it doesn't matter how old you are. It absolutely does not matter. It does not matter how many degrees you have on your wall. It does not matter how much time you spent in school or even who you know. What it is, is having the bravery and the confidence in your ideas and the action plan to make it a reality. So Chris, tell us how people who are now totally inspired to join us, how can they join us on Saturday? Well, there's, um, there's several ways. I mean, on Saturday, we're actually going to be broadcasting live through um, <clears throat> excuse me, a system called Hopin. And the reason I chose that one is that each, each presenter has got about a 30 minute presentation. And then we, we've allowed for sort of 15 minute Q&A time at the end. So live Q&A with the, the people that are tuning in. And they'll be able to, to chat uh, in, there's an interactive function on there for chatting as well. And uh, after the, the, between each session, there's, there's a 10 minute, what I call networking session. So in this, this platform on the, the left-hand side, you'll be able to click networking and you, you will get, it's like speed dating, but speed networking, right? You don't know who you're gonna network in. You'll click network, someone else will come in and you've got four minutes just to, to chat. And everybody that's coming in is interested in, obviously, career clarity and, and uh, youth development, but their own development. So that'll be fun. Um, you, can, you can get to there through, through my website, which is uh, all the Ws and then chris-j-baker.com forward slash career underscore clarity. 
Uh, and I'll provide you with the, that, Molly, so you can you can share it in the, the show notes or whatever. But do that or and and you will get if you again, if you can't stay for all six hours on Saturday, I completely understand that. But what, what we've done is we each session is going to be recorded and you will get access to those recordings free of charge up until midnight Eastern time on Monday night. All right. So the October 28th. So uh, sorry, October 26th. So, so that, that is that, it's all free. Now, if you want to get lifetime access after that, there will be a link that you can get lifetime access for just $49. And um, knowing the speakers that are coming on, the six speakers, knowing the content that the, the sharing, the workbook that we're gonna provide, the, the free PDFs and downloads that each of the speakers are providing, you may well want lifetime access because there's a ton of information that you can do. So. Chris dash J dash Baker forward slash career underscore clarity. Um, and in, when you get in there, it's got the link to, to register for hop in and uh, join us live on Saturday. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you, Chris. And thank you, Steve, for joining me here on the Lifelong Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Molly from Three Pines Leadership. I will see each and every one of you on Saturday, right? You're going to click down below, find the show notes. You're going to register for this amazing event. And on top of that, I'm giving you guys an extra challenge because you're not only going to register for yourself, but I want you to send this out to someone you know who it's going to change their life. So I want you to think about, are there youth or teenagers in your life? Maybe your own kids. Maybe you're an aunt or an uncle to some amazing change makers in the world. I want you to reach out to them. And just give them that little tap on the shoulder. Just, hey, I'm going to this cool event. I think you should join. Take the stigma off it, guys, because inspiring our young people, that's how we're going to change the world. They have incredible ideas. They have wild perspectives. And we need to be able to encourage them to embrace that part of them. Okay, my friends, I'm going to stop getting off my, I'm going to get off my high table here and let you guys go register. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode. I will see you again next time. And until then, remember, I love you and be excellent to each other. <laughs>